<laughs> Jessica's putting talcum powder on her face. But your arms are still brown, love. You know oh, that, stop right? They'd be like, oh, you're so white. You know, it looks ridiculous when someone's got talcum powder on their face, but their arms are brown, you know? You don't think you know that? No, I don't think you know that, love. Why are you putting talcum powder on your face? Because when you're oily and you put talcum powder on your face, you know nothing. Are you oily, Jessica? I am oily. Are you oily, Jessica? I am oily. I am oily. You I'm oily. You don't even know about bloody. About what, love? About I what? I don't know anything about what? I don't know anything about beauty. There you go. Maybe this guy is sitting on top of the, uh, he's on top of Jimmy. So these are the rice fields. I love this place, mate. This is really how I envisage the Philippines, mate. Yeah, I love this place. I love Big O. Absolutely love it a bit. So Jess is like, I'm gonna go get some food, right? Stay away from the store where I'm going. I want to pretend I don't know you because I'm going to put the prices up. So, here you go. So, we're in, uh, we're in Big Hole. Mate, I just can't tell you, this is one of the nicest places I've ever been in the world. Like, volcanic springs, blue waters. It's not too touristy. It's just awesome, mate. It's one of the nicest places I've ever been. Check it out. Hey, wow. Hey. Hey, hello. Oh, okay, so this is the uh, this is the port, right? So this is the ferry, right? Here's the ferry. So that goes to um, Samar. I really want to go, bro. To some to Samar. Check it out. Oh. All right, let's go have a gander at the uh, ferry, mate. Let's go have a quick look at the ferry. Hey, wow. Okay. All right, so these are all the places I think we can go on this ferry. I think these are all the places we're allowed to go on the ferry. Let's go see where the ferry goes. There's not too many white guys down here, mate. Thank you. We're now leaving it on the zone. There's the car ferry, see that? Oh, yeah. So there's a car ferry. These are all car ferries, all coming off the ferry. See that? Hey. Yeah, so I want to take the ferry to Samar. I'm going to go home to Sydney, right? But it's really cold, it's winter. I ran my kid, he's like, oh, mate, it's like 13 degrees, bruh. And I was like, oh, all right, I'm not going home then. I'll stay here. I'll do a little trip to Thailand. Here, I'll probably, I like to just stay the winter out of Sydney. I don't mind the summer in Sydney because it's actually hot in the Philippines, but I just don't like winters in Sydney, mate. I just, ugh. Sydney winters, but people are like, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? I'm like, how? So my clients meet me, they go, when you come back? I go, what's the temperature? 30 degrees. I go, well, call me when it's like 30. <laughs> call me when it's 30, mate. Ask me when it's 30 degrees, you know? So here we are. Look at the volcano, look at the volcano. Yeah, this is awesome, this place. It's like, it's the, so, the people here are so sweet. They just, what did you say? Um, so, I put the cross up here, because this phone scratches my... It hits my phone and scratches it. It's not my phone, it's Jessica's, but... She's like, oh, your phone's already scratched. I'm like, I don't need Jesus making it worse, right? Jesus heals. Jesus also scratches phones. Jesus phone. I always say to Jessica, if Jesus was uh, hung, would you have a noose? She's like, I don't know what you mean. I'm Catholic. I'm Catholic. There are no pedos in the Catholic church. It's all a, it's all a yeah. conspiracy. Oh, What's that? Like, there's no pedos in the Catholic Church, right? It's all a conspiracy, right, love? There's no pedos in the Catholic Church. It's all a conspiracy by the Westerners. They are very holy. Right, love? It only happens in your country. No, it happens here as well, love. Plenty. It happens here. It happens here probably more than uh, they just don't report it. But there are a lot of reports of pedos. Like, hundreds and hundreds of cases of pedos here in the Philippines, mate. Do you know, love, do you know 
where they sent, you know, the pedos from Germany and stuff, they send them here, love. So when they catch pedos, the Catholic Church used to send them to the Philippines. It was such a religious country, they probably would have made a complaint, and they probably would have made a complaint against the Westerners. So there you go, mate. There you go. Captain Eek. Check it out. People are so cynical online, mate. They're like, they're like, oh, man, screw up to your channel. Well, fuck off, mate. Fuck off. Don't subscribe to my channel, mate. You know what I mean? Like, you don't even have a channel. You don't even have a profile photo, you fucking cunt. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, no profile photo. Ugh, like, all this mean shit, you know? Like, come on, mate. Come on. Living in your mama's basement in America. Relax, bruh. Right, love? Relax. There's a lot of mean shit, isn't there? There's a lot of mean shit, isn't there, love? Yeah. People say a lot of mean shit. Like channel, What's that? If you don't like it, just don't subscribe. Yeah, we're daily vlogging, mate. Well, 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 what do you want? Like, Transformers, mate? Well, I'm not Michael Bay. We're daily vlogging on a GoPro, you know? Relax, bruh. What's the question? Don't you think we're the cringiest content creators? I think calling yourself a content creator is fucking cringe, mate. YouTuber. So calling yourself, I'm a content creator. I'm a full-time content creator. Mate, I earn, I earn like 100 bucks off YouTube, 200 bucks a month, mate. But the time we put into this shit, it's crazy. So, uh, we're just doing it for fun, it's a hobby, mate. Like, relax. You know what I mean? I don't come to your work and knock the dicks out of your mouth. You know what I mean? So, don't relax. give me shit. What's that? Relax, Ian. You relax your balls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's uh, Jimmy Carline. He says, I don't come to your work and knock the dicks out of your mouth, right? Please. You just go straight in there, right? If you're a stupid driver, you will. You run people in these gullies. Have you Grand Theft Auto and some bike and go in this gully and shit's gully? Why wouldn't you put a grate over it, mate? Like, what the fuck? This is where the water flows here. Oh, the water will still flow if you put a grate over it, mate. You know what I mean? They don't want to. They don't have budget for that. They don't have budget for that. Hey, check out the view, brother. Check out the view. So people washing this gully, this like uh, thing here. Count of flower. So water runs down here, right? These people, these people here, you see these people, they have no water or power, okay? They yeah, they don't even they have do. a generator. They, they don't have posts in. They have what? They do, they have posts around. Oh they have power, do they? Yeah, they do. Really? Yeah. They don't have water though. Maybe someone out there, but they're around here. They, they don't have water, they're washing in these gullies, love. You think they have water, they're washing in these gullies. So the water comes down from the volcano and they wash in these gullies. Here you go. Let's see, someone's washing. Yeah, check it out. There's people washing, check it. Oh, there's a hose. Oh, there's a hose there. Yeah, so they've got a hose that comes out from the volcano. That'll be hot water, though. That'll be hot water. I'm in this place called Big Hole. I love this place, mate. It's my favourite place, maybe in the world, mate. Uh, except for Sydney, obviously. Sydney rocks, but um, this place, active volcano, volcanic springs, uh, beautiful temperature water. Lo lovey, how good is this place, lovey? It's great. And Jessica's got some aunties and uh, and cousins here. So Jessica's mum's from here. So that's now it says it is more blessed to give than to uh, I think receive. Mate, it's more blessed to learn some grammar and bloody, like, you know, how to put together a sentence in school. A zesty bloody t shirt. Hi, Shalom. Ask if there's anyone in the deal card. Uh, so we're trying to pay with credit card. I don't, I've got $600 in cash, but we're going to uh, this trip. That'll be a couple hundred bucks, mate. Or a hundred bucks on fuel, whatever. Um, I, mean, I don't want to burn my cash, mate. I want to use credit card. So, right, love? People are like, oh, there's gonna be no cash. It's all gonna be crypto. Dogs, no one even fucking takes credit cards in the province, mate. What are you talking about? People are like, cash will be gone from the world. These people from Silicon Valley, mate, they just got no idea. Some of them, they just got, they haven't traveled. They just got no idea, mate, about the world. The world doesn't revolve around crypto and credit cards and stuff. It's cash, mate. So here, the rice fields. So where are we going today, Jess? So we're going to my auntie. It's my mom's sister. Hopping. But we don't have to go today, we can go next week if you want. We're gonna visit. Well, where are we gonna stay? 
Oh, I'll get that bit big over I'm gonna visit um, my uncle's resort. Okay. Just got it down. We got the barbell in the back here. <laughs> So we travel around Australia with a barbell, and we travel around with a barbell, get some power cleans in, I've got 100 kilos of weights there. So I'm trying to figure out the floor bench press, but I need to find a floor that I can sit on that I won't get run over. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out the floor bench press. Is a gas station here. Regular long for you. Oh, they said built it on the house. They put a petrol station on the house. It's crazy. We we're trying to get a coconut pie for Jessica's family. We're not rock up empty handed. Did you have anything for them or not? Uh, we're trying to get yeah, a poke, coconut pie, mate. Yeah, for sure, for you as well, right? So I'm just going to give you a health update. Um, so I tried this Metamucil and it's been a miracle. It's been an absolute miracle. So since my bowel surgery, I have pooped nothing but water. Like, and this is the first time I'm pooping solid. And the, the dizziness have gone, the diabetes has gone. Yeah, so I think I can train. I'm training. I've been training with the dizziness and the, you know, so I would go to the toilet, poop water, and then for an hour, I couldn't even stand up, right? Like, um, and now, this is Metamucil. I'm taking Metamucil and creatine. Oh, Shots of it. I feel great, bro. I feel great. Like, I feel really good. So, this is as good I've felt since the cancer surgery. So, we're using credit card, but we have to use cash. This place is done. It's a credit card. Guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can't really care less.